guys! Welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about calibration. You need to calibrate your Cricut machine when you are going to use the feature print and cut with any of these machines. Cricut Maker 3, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore 3, Cricut Explore 2. Or when you are going to use the knife or rotary blade that are tools exclusive for the Maker family. Now let's begin! Now I'll show you how to calibrate your machine when using the print and cut feature. This feature is available in Maker 3, Maker Explore 3 and the other machines from the Explore family. For this demonstration I'll use Cricut Maker 3. Go to the menu, click on calibration, select print and cut. Calibrating your machine ensures that it cuts printed images accurately. Select your printer, low white printed paper, then print. This is just regular white copy paper. Print the calibration sheet. I recommend printing at least three copies. It's important to mention that I calibrated this machine a couple of weeks ago, so probably the calibration will be perfect. Place shift in top left corner of your mat, then select continue. Load the mat and press the blinking button. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The first part of the calibration took about 1 minute 30 seconds. Without unloading the mat, examine the cut lines around the small square in the middle. Does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? In this case it does. Click on yes. Continue. I fast forwarded this part of the video. This is the second part. Cricut will cut all the horizontal and vertical lines on the calibration sheet. Without unloading the mat, extend the lines on the top and right of the calibration sheet. Which one has cuts closest to the center? The result is going to vary based on your machine. In my case, the cut closest to the center were night and eye. Continue. This is the last part of the process, what is going to cut around the interior rectangle. Remove the piece. Make sure the cut line touch the printed line all the way around. Are you happy with the cut? Yes, I am. Click on continue to finish the calibration process. Now I'll use Explore 2 mainly because I haven't used this machine in a while so I know it will need to be calibrated. And I want to show you what you need to do when your calibration is not perfect at first time. Go to the menu and select calibration. Click on print and cut. Follow the same steps we did before. If you are using Explore 2, don't forget to turn the smart dial to paper. I fast forward this part of the video. This is the first part of the calibration. In this case, you will see that the cut line didn't touch the printed area all the way around. Select No and click on Continue. Now I'll continue with the second part of the calibration. Cricut will cut all the horizontal and vertical lines on the calibration sheet. Choose the cuts that are closest to the center, in this case was night and eye. Continue. Now that the calibration cuts have complete, we need to reprint and retest your machine Unload the mat and click on continue. I fast forwarded this part of the video. Again, we will repeat the first process of the calibration. Without unloading the mat, remove the small square. Here I can see the cut line touch the printed line all the way around. 
I fast forwarded this part of the video, now I will complete the second part of the calibration by cutting the horizontal and vertical lines on the calibration sheet. Choose the cut lines that are closest to the center, in this case it was 10 and J. Click on continue. Now I'll complete the last process of the calibration that is to cut the interior rectangle. Make sure the cut lines touch the printed line all the way around. Are you happy with the cut? Yes, I am. Click on continue to complete the calibration. If you have a Cricut from the Maker family and the rotary or knife plate, now I'll show you how to calibrate them. I'll be using Cricut Maker to calibrate this blade, but the process is the same if you are using Maker 3. Go to the menu, click on Calibration, Rotary Blade. Insert Rotary Blade into Clamp B. Place printer paper in top left corner of mat, then click Continue. Load the mat and press the flashing Go button. I fast forwarded this part of the video, this calibration process took about 30 seconds. Counting down from the top, select the set of lines that overlap the most. All the lines in this calibration were overlapping, but I think the best was number 6. Click on continue and the rotary blade calibration is complete. Now I'll show you the calibration of the knife blade. The process is the same if you are using Maker or Maker 3. Go to the menu, select Calibration and Knife Blade. Insert knife blade into clamp B. Place printer paper in top left corner of mat, then click Continue. Load the mat and press the flashing go button. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to calibrate this plate took about one minute. After you unload the mat, count down from the top and select the group of lines that overlap the most. In this case was number 6. Click on continue to finish the calibration process. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in any of these Cricut machines, I'm going to share the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you live in the US, you can use my coupon code. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.